All right, YouTubers, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS uh, one of two ways. I'll make a second video on the other way. This is going to be done through the BIOS itself. So first thing you want to do, type in gigabyte B760M DS3H. Now I'm having a little issue here uh, with this motherboard. Oddly enough, not getting the performance out of the 13th gen that I should be. Uh, 12th gen is actually pin superior, uh, oddly enough. So uh, here you go. We search for this. And if you're watching this and you're uh, putting in the... Uh, you have the Wi-Fi version, the AX, you know, you would type in AX, right? And then you would click here, okay? So this video is really going to be done exactly for this version, the non-Wi-Fi version. But uh, like I said, if you have the Wi-Fi, you can pretty much follow along with these steps. I'm going to click support here and then down here, BIOS. Now you see there's two versions on here, all right? And so what we want to do, folks, is just verify which version of the BIOS we have. So we're going to type in system information. And then right here, it shows F1, all right? So we're going to download this one. Now, uh, let's say you're watching this video, it's uh, 2024. You want the most up-to-date, okay? That might be F3, F5, F10, F20, F50, whatever it may be, all right? But you want the one that's most up-to-date. Now, of course, read the description from the bottom to the, the latest one to verify that there aren't any other BIOS you have to update before that one. Most of the time, 99% of the time, you will grab the most up-to-date, all right? So, I'm gonna click here, download, and if you've got Edge, it's gonna show up here. If you have Chrome, it'll be down here. Uh, regardless, it's gonna end up in your downloads folder, okay? So I wanna click here, um, and then there's our file. Like I said, though, uh, if you were to just go here, the downloads, boom, there it is, all right? I want to unzip this, so I'm going to unstract all. And then there is our file. I'm going to right click for copy or control C. And then, oh my gosh, look at all this crap on my thumb drive. All right, so folks, you want uh, the best thing for you to have is to have a clean thumb drive, okay? Not this mess. Now it's going to work. Um, all kinds of different formats will work. I would recommend FAT32, all right? And a lot of times, uh, it seems FAT32 works good for USB 2.0. Uh, even though this is a USB 3.0 drive, a lot of my USB 3.0 drives do not support FAT32, oddly enough. All right, so I'm going to right mouse click to paste this in here. And it's a pretty small file, so it should be fast, even though it's, for whatever reason, dog slow right now. Yep. There we go. Wake up, computer. So this has the i i five thirteen four hundred f in it. I'm sure that's not its fault why it's so slow, but uh, yeah, getting there. All right, so we've got our file. We're good. Now we're going to reboot this thing. Um, you know, usually you can hold in F2, delete um, most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't work. And so, quite honestly, you can also, you know, do that a few times. But here we are. All right. Before we update this BIOS, a couple things. 
One, there's a good chance that your XMP is going to go back to disabled. All right. Keep that in mind. And then there's always the potential that your boot sequence or boot priority will get reset. And if you have more than one drive with an operating system on there, the one that you originally had might not be the uh, number one priority. So keep that in mind. There may be other things that change. However, yours truly uh, is not sure what they may be. So, all right. So, uh, like I said, here's what I'm working with for a CPU. There's our motherboard. Of course, if you have the AX version, you'd see AX. I don't think there's a DDR5 of this cheap motherboard. So, what we want to do, folks, the simplest way is to go to QFlash, click on Update BIOS, and then, oh my gosh, look at this. I've used this for multiple updates, right? So, this is why you want a clean thumb drive, and I'm doing this on purpose, actually, to show you guys this, but I know that this is not an Eris motherboard. Um, this is the one we want right here. So we're going to click on that, and you see down here, it's basically added it. Are you sure you want to update? Yes. In a moment, it's going to ask me to hit start, and OK, and then I'm going to step away. Now, Folks, hopefully you're watching this video before you actually do the update. And what I would tell you, make sure the weather's good, all right? It's winter time. There could be some severe blizzards, snowstorms, windstorms, all that crap, right? You do not want to update your BIOS during that. Now, you're, uh, if you lose power, which is something you don't want to have happen, you could break your motherboard. And uh, who knows if the manufacturers um, will warranty it. But um, those are, you know, the things to be concerned about. Now, if you have a uninterruptible power supply, a, a UPS, um, you know, it's not a bad idea to have that plugged in. Or some kind of other, um, you know, maybe a solar battery uh, type setup that has a battery that you know is fully charged. Now, this process from start to finish, um, with me rambling and all that stuff, may take upwards of 15 minutes. Uh, the fastest you could probably do it in is 10 minutes. All right. Now, I have not hopefully edited this video at all. I usually try not to. Uh, so, really, you can see the time that it's going to take to do this video. So, upper left. On the screen here, it says current flash. We're F1. BIOS date was October 12th. And below that, you see uh, what we're going to, F2 Delta. And that BIOS date is January 16th, 2023. We're about 54% done. Now, in the future, when there's more BIOS out there, um, it's, it's basically cumulative, right? So... If your motherboard had the F1 and you decide when they're at F30 to uh, do the BIOS update, it's going to take longer to update because there's more stuff in there. And these, uh, it will be cumulative. It'll take the best of uh, what's necessary between F1 and F30 or F50, whatever they go to, all right? Most of the time, uh, like Gigabyte's going to stop supporting this motherboard at some point. And you won't see any more updates. Now, I'm doing this BIOS update to make a video. Uh, the other reason is, like I said, my 13th gen is not working as well as it should with this motherboard. And I've actually put two 13th gens in here i3 13100F and the i5 13400F. All right, so it's rebooting. Now, another thing I hope to see is the uh, RAM support. Um, potentially, you know, it could fix other problems. I guess RAM that's in there. 
is good up to 4133, but in this motherboard only 4000. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I tired myself out, folks. All right, so there we are. I'm going to log in real quick. Oh, set up my pin. Dang it. All right, so I'm going to have to redo this. Um, you see the uh, email address on there. It's it's only good for this computer, so don't waste your time. I'm, I'll never see your emails if you're um, trying to get in there. But, uh, yeah, so it looks like it's good to go. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Good old Microsoft. Um but let's do this, folks. Let us try and get into uh, BIOS, and we'll just uh, make sure that XMP is re-enabled. So I really only had the one drive. I'm going to take my thumb drive out now, even though it didn't disappear. But uh, so something has changed here, okay? This looks different. High bandwidth auto. This is interesting. Now I'm not sure it had two XMPs, but now it has two profiles. Uh, it's not uncommon, you know, to occasionally see things improve in here. Um, like I said, you may want to adjust your boot priority if that's necessary, if something's changed. Looking at this real quick, it looks to be the same. But, uh, you know, as stated, if we go back to easy mode, there's our F2D. All right. Thanks for checking out my video, folks. Please like, please subscribe.